Hey Zdra, Borut Petrlin here. Um, Happy New Year. I'm sorry I wasn't vlogging because I was going through very rough times. Um, this half a year was super, super emotionally challenging and so on. But the good news is the New Year is here and I feel revived. I think I'm ready. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Ah. Do mm -hmm. Do you hear that? I think that the branch uh, punctured my uh, exhaust pipe. Or it, it's old. <laughs> so anyway. You can choose. You can have three kids or a new Defender. Well, I have 50 year old Defender and three kids. That's my choice. Okay, I took my car to the car mechanic and now listen to this. Much nicer. kids leave and the silence comes it comes in together with the feeling of loss in the last half a year I lost two loved ones um, one is quote unquote just a heartbreak <laughs> but um, the other one is the loss of my father tonight I'm thinking about that Do je tebe praslova, plava ti uči. Da si preplavao tisto rusko reko, in se v mojih milih nazadi.
At the cabin, there are so many things to be done, uh, and you know, frankly, without father's advice, I have no idea where to start. Luckily, I found Tone, and he made a really good assessment. And what is even more important, he made a chronological order of the works that has to be done, and uh, that's a huge help. Stirador, thermoisolation, hydroisolation, thermoisolation. Yeah, plus hydro. So what the cooler role is? The cooler unit of role. We have five quadrato, ten quadrato. Okay. So from Menga, the first zone is like on. This is a game changer. Now I have a, a like a reference frame. And now I have steps that I have to take in uh, reconstructing the the cabin. I have solutions how to solve the water, the electricity. The, the shower, the toilets, uh, the septic uh, cleaning device, how you call it, the recycling, um, and so on, so on, so on. Furthermore, last week I had a workshop going. Kurt and Bert from Belgium and Rimas from Lithuania. <laughs> Guys, here's Strauss from South Africa. <laughs> and come, come, step outside. <laughs> and uh, Rimas from Lithuania. <laughs> And Kurt and Bart from Belgium. Hi. But the thing is, <laughs> it's snowing, and it's the first time for Strauss to, to actually be in a country that is actually snowing. That's <laughs> so, amazing. So, uh, <laughs> happy snowy day, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my main man, Strauss, is flying back from my workshop to South uh, Africa. And I gave him some gelatin, photographical quality. And just to make sure that he will remember this workshop forever, I wrote <laughs> for customs. <laughs> Good luck to me. <laughs> Another thing happened, another huge thing happened. You know, um, half a year ago, a woman that I loved with every atom of my body left like that in a, in a ungracious way, let's say. Anyway, I suffered a lot and I wanted, and I was wondering for half a year, I was wondering why, why, why I couldn't get over and um, well, Imagine that you're tapping in a dark, in a dark room. You have no idea what it is, what you're tapping, but you have kind of like a, and then like, and then you have, and then, then suddenly hits the lights and all the room lights up and you look around and you understand every single thing. That's how I felt. That's how it felt. Like it felt like all their answers came like a bucket of water, like fluff. I understood every single thing. I understood her and her reaction. 
I was literally seeing through her eyes. I understood, but you know, I would talk only about myself. Um, I understood where the shame came, you know, because in this half a year, I was feeling like I'm like under the avalanche of shame, which is like bam, battering me, which is just, um, I also understood why this, imp this relationship was so important because basically because her kids were my kids and I lost my kids for the third time in six years, you know, for somebody that means the family means and kids means so much. That's very hard, but you know, there's a good side of it. You know, I understood I could finally, this is actually literally a, f a milestone because I understood that how we are changing, you know, I understood what is driving us. What is the cause of this actions? You know, when things get tough, really tough, your true values come out. And I understood, I learned a lot about myself. I, I forgave myself a lot of things. Uh, I understood that I am in love with the fantasy that somebody that was there one year ago, it's not there anymore, that uh, we are changing and uh, I'm changing and and I felt liberated. And soon after I got an invitation for a party and I got a microphone in my hand. I got my You know, with every shuffle that I cleaned from the bottom of this whale, I felt better because that mud was all not only the physical mud, it was also something from within me. I felt, I felt so good. And the next morning, I thought there is one more thing I want to leave at the bottom of this whale. One more thing. singing right <laughs> well that's how it is expect the unexpected I just want to make an official statement that I don't drink alcohol uh, and I never tried any drugs in my life 
So just that you know, I believe in soberness and this is, ex you know, I was partying till 3 a.m. At 7.30 I got up and I worked till 7, p 7 p.m. Perfect, that's the way I like it. Good, good, good. Um, lots of exhibitions are coming. A lot of exhibitions. Like uh, 14th of April, I have a big solo exhibition in Prague. And right after that, in May, I will have it in Montserrat, in Portugal. And I'm talking about big solo exhibition, like a New Earth project. Really awesome. Awesome. And my manual, my wet plate collodion manual, now it's my priority. One more thing. Rimas from Lithuania was here at my workshop and he is world expert on saunas and he will help me to build a sauna in my cabin. Awesome. I'm really looking forward. I'm really for looking forward to this year. I think I'm pumped. I'm clean. I'm, I got through stuff and, um, and I know that uh, my father will be really proud to see my, my whale the one that I cleaned, and um, so I feel really good. I feel really good for this year. Thank you so much, and thank you Patreons who are sticking with me. I know that last year I couldn't send you my Christmas uh, thank you gifts, but it's coming. I didn't forgot. Thank you so much for your support, and um, you know.